disclaimer. We advise that I'm not a professional trader or advisor. I am sharing my trading journey for entertainment purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, price, or other information contained in this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset, or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Trading foreign exchange, cryptocurrency indexes, stock market, futures, commodity, energy, precious metal, etc. carry a high level of risk and please trade on your own research and assessment. Please seek advice from a professional financial advisor for your trading needs. Hello my friends, welcome to Forex DKS. So yesterday, big news from the Fed, uh, from the US Fed, as I said, as we said in Asia time, right, it's uh, in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning in the US, then you are talking about afternoon. So there is a big announcement, okay, from uh, Jerome Power yesterday. The FOMC statement, of course, they still keep the rate up, uh, but they are bullish, uh, okay. The Fed is uh, bullish where they actually talk about this one. Okay, Fed signal two hikes uh, by end of 2023. Uh, so they are bullish on the US economy. That's why you can see, okay, big, big spike uh, for USD. Okay, USD actually entered very strong and seems like, okay, it seems like with such a big projection, right, seems like the USD is heading to bull, uh, okay, heading to bull market. We go into DXY, the US dollar index. Okay, so a big spike, uh, the US dollar index, okay, looks like it really broke the uh, downtrend, uh, downtrend uh, 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 bias, okay, downtrend bias. So now it looks like, okay, the price continue to, to stay above this area, right? 91,350, 91,35, uh, okay, so we are looking to be the strong, okay, bullish USD. Okay, let's go into the chart. So all this USD pair, right? We want to turn from a from a bullish, uh, bullish uh, euro USD or this. We want to uh, my buyers uh, has turned uh, from bullish to bearish. Uh, means we are now okay favoring the US dollar. Okay, favoring the US dollar. Okay. So now all this I have redrawn. So for euro USD, okay, we look for a. Uh, Buy opportunity, sell opportunity now. Okay, at, at R1, 1.2057. Okay, if the price went down, rejected at R1 or rejected at R2, went up. Uh, sorry, went up. Okay, rejected at R2, 1.2112. Okay, these two area. Okay, we look for sell opportunity. Okay, or the price continue to go down, break below S1, retest S1, 1.91986. So we look for sell opportunity okay so now we want to uh, we are in favor of the usd uh. so similar to pound usd okay if the price got rejected from s1 1.3994 okay a rejection at a resistant one 1.4080 okay we look for sell opportunity USD JPY, USD GPY continue to be bullish. Okay, we take we took our profit here at S1. Previously, when I talk about this trade, right, this trade over here, so we already take profit. So this one, if you haven't take profit, continue. Uh, you are you are very near to the top of the channel, right? So it's time to take profit. So we look forward to uh maybe a slight retracement toward S1. Okay, one one zero point two six for a buy opportunity. Or the price will trace lower, okay, towards the bottom of the channel, near 109.477. Okay, this one, we look for a buy opportunity. So AUD, USD, okay, AUD, USD continue to drop, okay, so this one, Price was just broke down uh, from the R1 confirm break. Okay, so now what we want to look for, okay, is a. Uh, I've got to put my marking here. Uh, okay, we want to look for a sell opportunity. 
Okay, continue. Want to look for sell opportunity? So sell opportunity when the if the price okay got retrace uh, after this big drop okay retrace towards S one area and get rejected. We want to sell okay at S one zero point seven seven zero two or the price break below S S one is R one uh, sorry this R one. The price broke below S one support one. Retest and goes okay rejection here. Okay, at 0 0.7585. So these are the two areas we want to look for sell. ADUSD, NZD USD, similar. Okay, we want to look for sell opportunities. Now the price starts to retrace after this big move, uh, this big move down. So once the price, if the price comes down to R2, 0 0.7131, a rejection over here. Okay, we want to look for a sell opportunity. All the price break down. Okay, break down R1, retest. Okay, we want to look for a sell opportunity. Okay, so R1 and resistance 1 and resistance 2. Okay, we want to look for sell opportunity now instead of buy opportunity. Uh, so everything the, the, the bias has been reversed. Now we are in favor of a strong USD, uh. so you USD can okay USD can also, but US, USD can right due to the strong uh can right we are still looking to sell USD can, okay so we see a, a big rebound uh, over here, a big rejection over here, and R two we see a strong pin bar or a big rejection candle over here, so possible we are still considering to sell. Okay, and R2 sell towards uh, R1 area. Okay, R2 the R2 is 1.2263 or the price drop lower to R3, which is this channel, right? This long term channel, this channel. So it's price come down to resistance 3, 1.2405, a rejection, okay, then opportunity to sell. Okay, but this one we have to monitor the price of the price of the oil. Yeah? Okay, the price of the oil. As long as the price of the oil is still strong, okay, we remain. You want to sell the USD cap until okay until it breaks below above R three. Okay, it breaks above R three, then we might want to change our bias to buy USD cap instead. Go. So, Okay, gold also gold is uh, both uh, gold and uh, US, USD right now both is strong uh, okay so this one I think we will have a sideways market okay I think we have a sideways market because both is strong so this one I don't want to project uh, give too much of projection first but most likely okay most likely for now right okay we want to sell the uh, Euro uh, sell the gold, okay. XAU USD around R1 area, okay. A reject, uh, a retracement around R1 rejection is okay. Then we want to sell, okay. But this one, okay, most likely I think will be sideways. The index, the SPI 200. So we took two trade over here, okay. One trade was here. Okay, the breakout retest. Okay, we take one trade and we took another trade after breakout over here. So now the price actually broke above the triangle, right? Not a triangle. So sorry, the diamond pattern now is retesting. Okay, the retesting. Okay, if the price rebound up again, okay. So this is a. Uh, this is a bullish price action. Uh, okay, means this one actually reconfirm. Uh, reconfirm the. Okay. Reconfirm the triangle pattern here. Okay, the breakout. The breakout retest. Okay, reconfirm that the price want to go up. Okay, so this is a. Uh, if the price can, if the price rebound, right, it will be another opportunity to buy. Okay, or another opportunity to buy. So I might want to add. Okay, I bought over here. Bought over here. If the price come and rebound, I might want to. Okay. Add to my, add to my, add to my uh, trade. If the price actually, okay, doesn't 
if the price okay fall below support and resistance here, right? So oh, there is a possibility that I want to take profit. Okay, I might want to take profit on my trade. Okay, from here, okay, from here to here. The next, okay, the next. I took a trade over here, okay, a breakout over here, right? Remember this pattern over here, I took a trade. Okay, the price broke through, retest, and went up, right? Uh, this is the previous top over here. Okay, so I took the trade. But then after that, the price goes sideways, doesn't go anywhere. Then this one, right, the rejection candle, because see, two rejection candle here, you shall not pass, right? Remember, okay, you shall not pass. Okay, so strong rejection at uh, 15730 at resistant one, right? So I close the trade. So now we want to wait. What we want to wait is if the price come down to S1, rebound is still bullish. Uh, okay, look at the trend, look at the long term trend. This is very much bullish. Uh, so we are still okay taking the any buy trade, okay, any buy setup offered to us. Good. So the price come down here. Come down to S1, 15511, okay, a rebound. So we want to buy, okay, opportunity to buy. And if the price, okay, breaks above, okay, R1, 15730, breaks above, and breaks above the previous high over here, right, the previous uh, candle formation over here, okay, then there is opportunity to buy. Let's take. Okay, Nasdaq broke the previous high, uh, broke the all-time high, but then it's a fake. It's a false break. Okay, the price came back down. Uh, okay, so it's a false break. So price will continue to come down. So we want for uh, Nasdaq, we want to look for a rebound at S1, 13717. Okay, a bullish price action here. Okay, we will have a opportunity to buy. Okay, bullish price action, bullish engulfing, you know, or a pin bar. Okay, a pin bar over here. So there's a possible opportunity to buy. Okay, or the price might come lower to S2, 13459. Okay, will be our opportunity to buy. So we are still looking to buy uh, because the structure is still structured to the upside. The Dow, Dow Jones, Dow Jones actually, okay, unable to break the previous high. We talked about this area, right? You shall not pass. So the price actually came back down. So we want to look for buy opportunity now. The report S1, uh, okay, there's possible buy opportunity at, at S1, okay, if there is a very strong bullish action, price action over here. So uh, now we already passed through, now we are going to S2, so there's a possibility to buy at S2. Okay, if we have a very strong uh, support over here, candlestick, okay, uh, a strong pin bar, a strong bullish price action over here, S2, 33257. So S&P, S&P also, okay, broke below, broke uh, the all-time high, but now the price being suppressed, coming back down. So there's many levels over here, I want to add one more level over here. I think support one should be around here. Okay, so there's one more support level over here. Okay, if the price come down to this area, rebound at the S1 area, 4177, okay, or somewhere around S2. 4119, 4119 or 4177, okay, this could be the area to okay, buy uh, towards the top of this uh, uh, all time high. Okay, I want to put my remark again, uh, I want to put my remark. So trading is a game of probability, not every trade will be a winner. I believe majority of profitable forex and other financial instrumental instrument traders only manage to win around 40 to 60% of their trade. Okay. 
So use the risk and reward strategy as your edge while trading not essentially the winning rates. Huh? Okay, always win more than you lose every single trade. Okay, risk less than the reward. So also okay, remember do okay you think this one this uh, channel if you like this channel do you think this information is worthwhile remember okay help me subscribe to my channel like and share okay share this with your friend and remember i put my twitter is a uh, forex with ks okay so anything i see okay any possible opportunity i see i will post it on a uh, uh, twitter okay after the video because i do the video in the morning so stay safe from COVID. Have a nice day. Bye bye.